Hi, I'm Matthew Biancanello, and I'm here to make you my whole enchilada. It's a take on a margarita. And um, I'm definitely known for going to the farmer's market, foraging, and using all fresh ingredients. So uh, we're working with fresh blood orange juice today, borage flowers, smoked jalapenos, and tequila and mezcal. So the cocktail that I'm making today, uh, in time for Cinco de Mayo coming up next week, uh, is the whole enchilada. It's a spicy margarita with mezcal and uh, fresh squeezed blood orange juice. So the first thing we're gonna do is juice um, a few limes here. I'm gonna use three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. So we're actually gonna make an agave syrup really, really quickly. It's always a one-to-one -one ratio of agave to water. So I put in, let's say, that much of agave and just do equal parts. If you have a measuring cup, just do one cup and one cup. Add the water together. All we need to do is mix it until it dissolves. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of, of agave syrup. Okay. And then what I did was I made a very, very hot tincture or whatever you wanna call it. You can take anything like vodka, that's a neutral grain spirit. And I actually infused it with the smoked jalapenos that you can get at the farmer's market. Um, if you don't have smoked, you could use regular jalapenos. Um, and basically what I do is I put it into the tincture and just let it sit. This is probably something that you wouldn't be able to drink on its own, but as a spice agent, you just need to put like a quarter of an ounce of that. So we've made this. Now, if you don't have these things available, you can get these really incredible salts that are actually um, are out of Venice. They're at a lot of the local farmer's markets here in Los Angeles. It's called Hep Salt. And you would just take, it's a spicy, you have chipotle or ghost pepper. And you would probably just take a pinch and put it in the glass, which is great. But we're gonna take this tincture and we're gonna do a quarter of an ounce, which will make it spicy. And then we are going to mix both tequila and mezcal. Mezcal is the same version of a tequila. Basically, when they take the agave, though, they cook it in the ground, and that's what gives it that smoky flavor. And we're just gonna break it up. A margarita typically would be two ounces, but we're gonna actually break it up and do one ounce of the mezcal for the smokiness. And then one ounce of the tequila. that in there. So we're all ready now, everything is clear. We're gonna put the ice in. And you know, you could dehydrate blood orange slices and put them on top and that would make it beautiful. Make a really nice pretty drink. And these are actually edible. Like I said, they actually taste like an oyster. And there you go, that is the whole enchilada.